Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is fractions review. This is part two. Michael Jordan says, I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. You can grab yours today by clicking the link in the description box. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, you can click the link in the description box to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about hype math and reading. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's talk about comparing fractions. One thing to remember third graders is that the alligator mouth always opens up to the largest number or the largest fraction. So let's look at our example. One eighth is less than three eighths. So let's look at our model. We see that one eighth, which is one square, is less than three eighths. And again, remember, the alligator mouth opens up to the largest fraction, which is three eighths. Here is another example. Five six is greater than one half. If we look at our models, we see that yes, there is more in the five six than there are in the one half. So five six is greater than, pay attention to the alligator mouth, it's open to five six, is greater than one half, okay? Let's look at another one. Here we have two circles. The circle on the left-hand side is separated into or divided into eight whole parts. Eight is our denominator. And of that eight parts, four of them are shaded. That's our numerator. So that is four eighths. Now let's look at our model on the right. The circle is divided into two whole parts. Two is our, our denominator, and of that, one part is shaded. That is one half. But if you notice, even though the they're divided into different parts, the shading is the same. So you can have a different numerator and denominator, but still have the same value. So four eighths is equal to one half. Let's look at one more example. We have on our left, our model is separated into 10 whole parts. 10 is our denominator. Of the 10 parts, seven are shaded. So our fraction is seven tenths. Then on the right hand side, our rectangle is divided into five parts. That is our denominator. And of that, two parts are shaded. That is my numerator. So my fraction is two fifths. And if you notice that seven tenths has more shaded than two fifths. So seven tenths is greater than two fifths. Now let's dive into our problems. And remember, our third grade math review workbook is available for purchase in our store. The link is in the description box. Number 19 says, the models shown are the same size and are each divided into equal size parts. The models are shaded to represent two fractions. Which statement is true? Okay, so let's look at our models. On the left-hand side, we see that there's a circle divided into three whole parts. Three is our denominator. And of that, two are shaded. Now let's look at our right-hand model. Again, it's a circle, and it's divided into four equal parts. Four is our denominator, and of that, two parts are shaded, okay? So the first question we need to ask ourselves is, 
what are we looking for? We are looking for the statement or the answer choice that is true about the models. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next thing we need to ask ourselves is what information can help find the answer? Something that is important to help us find the answer is one, we know about our models. We said two thirds are shaded um, and for the left hand side and then two fourths are shaded for the right hand side. And also that the alligator mouth always opens up to the largest number. Now that we know the information we need, how are we going to solve the problem? Well, what we need to do is compare our models. So let's look at our answer choices. A says two thirds is greater than two fourths because thirds are larger than fourths. Well, in looking at our models, that is true, that thirds are larger than fourths. And when we look at our shaded areas, two thirds is greater than two fourths. So A potentially is our answer. Let's look at the other answer choices. It says B, two thirds is equal to two fourths because each model has two parts shaded. Well, we know what equal parts look like because we reviewed it and so B is not correct because even though both of the numerators have two, they're not equal, they do not have the same value for this um, example. C, one third is less than one fourth because three is less than four. Well, let's look at the one third. We see the one third. Yes, it's less than, oh, one fourth. So no, if you look at one third of the unshaded for the left hand side, and one fourth, not both of them, just one piece of the uh, pie of the fourths on the right hand side. No, one third is not less than one fourth. Even though thirds, three is less than four, that is not true. D, one third is equal to one fourth because each model shows one whole. Well, no, that's not true either. So what is our correct answer? That two thirds is greater than two fourths and that is answer choice A. A is the correct answer. Two thirds is greater than two fourths because thirds are larger than fourths. And if we're looking at our shaded parts, we see that two shaded parts for the two thirds is greater than two of the shaded parts of two fourths. Let's look at number 20. The models shown are the same size and are each divided into equal size parts. The models are shaded to represent two fractions. Which statement is true? All right, so let's look at our fractions again. I'm sorry, our models again. On the left-hand side, we see that there are three whole parts and that of that, two are shaded, so two thirds is our fraction. And then four shaded and one third is for the part that's not shaded. For the right hand side, we see that there are eight whole parts and of that two parts are shaded. So two eighths is for the shaded part and six eighths is for the unshaded part. Now let's look at our answer choices. F one third is greater than six eighths because thirds are larger than eighths. Two thirds, this is G, two thirds is greater than two eighths because two shaded parts out of three parts is greater than two shaded parts out of eight parts. H, one third is greater than two eighths because one shaded part out of three parts is less than two shaded parts out of eight parts. And then G, two thirds is less than two eighths because thirds are smaller than eighths. We said a mouthful, third graders. All right, the first question we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? Okay, what are we looking for? 
Very important question. We are looking for the statement that is true about the models. Okay, now that we know that, what information can help us find the answer? And the information that can help us find the answer is that remember, the alligator mouth always opens up to the larger number. Now that we know that, the next question we're gonna ask ourselves is, how do we solve the problem, okay? How do we solve this problem? Well, what we need to do is we need to compare the models. Let's dive in and look to see what the answer choices say. First, F says one third is greater than six eighths because thirds are larger than eighths. All right, so we're looking at the one third, we're looking at the unshaded part. We see the unshaded part of the one third and we see the unshaded part of the six eighths on the right hand side. Is one third greater than six eighths? No, uh, it looks like that six eighths is actually larger than or greater than one third, so F is not correct. G. Two thirds is greater than two eighths because two shaded parts out of three parts is greater than two shaded parts out of eight parts. Now, the wording can seem tricky, but all they're really saying is the fraction over again, which is what we said in the beginning, that there are for the left-hand side, three whole parts, and of that, two are shaded, okay? So don't let the wording um, confuse you. All it's stating is what we see in, for our models, okay? So it's two-thirds greater than two-eighths, and we're looking at the shaded part. Yes, it is. Two-thirds is greater than two-eighths because two shaded parts of three parts it's greater than two shaded parts of eight parts. So yes, G is correct. H, one third is greater than two eighths because one shaded part of three parts is less than two shaded parts of eight parts. Well, no, that's not, that's not true either because what, what makes this this problem incorrect is because it says because one shaded part out of three parts is less than but if we look at the beginning of the answer choice it says one third is greater than two eighths so h is not true let's look at j not g oh my goodness i cannot believe i had j okay let's change this to j sorry about that j Two thirds is less than two eighths because thirds are smaller than eighths. Okay, we're looking at the shaded parts. Is two thirds less than two eighths? No, it is not. So J, not G, like Miss Jackson had for all those slides, J is not correct either. So now that we went through all of our answer choices, what is our correct answer? And we said our correct answer is G. Two thirds is greater than two eighths because two shaded parts of three parts is greater than two shaded parts of eight parts. And that is it for fractions review part two. Remember, if you need a tutor, have your parents sign up. The link will be in the description box. And we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.